And we're back. Well, let's let's head out. Now we're a step closer to the treasure. I mean Tetra, yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? You haven't helped at all. You've got some nerve, you glittery bit of bit of whatever. We're all making sacrifices. Maybe. Maybe it's just that time. That gives us something to look forward to, doesn't it, Lineback? Let's ship out and find the remaining pure metal. Yeah, I'll see what this is real quick. Might might as well. Should have a new AI video up by now. Um, at the time of recording this, it's not up yet, but it should be... Oh my god. But it should be up soon. Well, it should be up already, actually. Might not, I might not be able to get that treasure if this biatch doesn't go away. Maybe we can set sail and go to this ship and see what that's about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's, um... Who's... who's here? Oh. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, we lost her. Oops, go, go, go. Oh my. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't very long, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Oh-ho, have I strained? All of a sudden I can't see a thing. Oh-ho. Mm-hmm. How terribly rude of me. I'm a member of the Ho-Ho tribe. Yes, indeed. I came from the country of Weiwei, -Wei, across the ocean, looking for treasure. Certain items are treasure to the people of Weiwei, -Wei, and I'll buy them from you. I'll buy them for far more than any of the general stores around here, too. Okay. I'm leaving. <sighs> Why are you so annoying, Jolene? Like, seriously. Um, the ice! I'm having one of my brilliant ideas. No, really. You see it already? Try to course around the icy aisle. We'll obliterate it all with the cannon. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, Linebeck. I know. Kill those things. I mean, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it, even though it was so short. Yeah, I just thought it would be a funny concept, really. It's kind of, it's kind of a, a weird segment. Shoot all the ice. Okay. Shoot all the ice while these stupid enemies are here. Well, I did it. Alright, we blasted all that ice and set it sinking into the sea. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are waiting to welcome us. Will they lash out at us? Either way, let's go there, Link. Well, kid. I was wondering what it'd be like walking on a big ice chunk. Now I know, it's real frosty. Oh my. Achoo! As cold as it is, it warms my treasure-seeking heart. You guy, you came from out there, outside the ice? Hey, what's your deal? Never seen an Anoki before? You gonna sh sh you gonna stare all day at us, or can you talk too? What? You wanna know where the pure metals are? How should I know? You gotta take a question like that to the island chief. Me? No idea. You guy, listen, I wanna keep this between you and me. I've been dealing with a bit of, di of a dilemma. You know what I mean. I had to deal with something like this in like a decade. Oh, you wanna know what happened? I can't go telling you that. Do these lips look like they blab? I'm gonna have to ask the Iron Chief. It's a woolly world we live in, guy. Woolly and hairy and wild. Hey, dream for a second and they might get ya. Poof, you're gone just like that. What? Anyway, AI videos are pretty... pretty fun. Uh, I do need a better mic. I have seen some comments talking about my microphone. In, in my gameplay videos, and I definitely agree that I need a better mic. Don't know how how, how I don't know how soon that's gonna be happening, but I do need a better mic eventually. The Uke tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That crazy. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Uke has sneaked over here. I heard. What you know? Hey, maybe. You're the hairy Uke dressed up like one of us. 
No. I knew it! What? You guy, did you hear the big news when it was Harry Uke? Huh? What do you mean? It's Harry Uke sneaked over here, I heard. You know, hey, maybe you're the Harry Uke? Got me. What, you're a Uke? Uh, really? You serious? Ah! Got, got him? Nobody thought that trouble between the Anoki and Yuke was a good thing. So we Anoki and those hairy Yuke got together a hundred years ago and entered into a little peace agreement. Peace? Peace treaty, you know. Peace, peace is like... I think it's like a piece of cake. Speaking metaphorically, we got our moist frosted hunk of cake to live on. <laughs> Yet generously gave the Yuke the dry, unfrosted morsel of cake to the east. What, you looking for the island chief's house? You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs I got around here. What, how do we keep from freezing in a place like this? Come on, guy, toughen up and pack up. It'll blubber on you. Heh <laughs> I did pretty much blow my, um, my load, so to speak, on the, uh, with the, with the, some of the AI, because, uh, I have, like, I have almost no character count now, thanks to the second tier list, which does suck a little bit considering uh, I do have some more ideas that I want to try out, but you know, whatever. Next month, uh, well, 16 days, the character count reset. I think I might have enough characters for one more short video. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really want to upgrade. Upgrade it though because five dollars a month is more than enough for me you guy i'm the island chief of the yanoki you got a name green guy what do you say linkabo so linkabo my tribe's been having this trouble lately thought maybe you take care of it for us hold on is that you say you're actually saying your name's actually link sure about that guy all right all right whatever you say Anyway, you want to know about the Azerine, right? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine. Well, this might get a bit long, so make yourself real comfortable. We you know if you've got one enemy on this island. They're the Yuk. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors, so 100 years ago we made an agreement. The you Yuki know, live in the west, and those hairy Yuk live over in the east on the great ice field. That was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk has snuck over here. And he's taken one of my villagers. Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable like. Now we need, and now we come to the part where I need something from you. Find the yuk who's impersonating a villager and kick him out. Did you get all that? Do I have to repeat myself? Got it. Yeah, all right. Go to the Anuki est Estates up north, Link. When you get there, you better, you gotta figure out which guy is actually the yuk. Yuk are liars, every one of them. This one will lie to you, so don't be gullible. Maybe if you find him, I might tell you where the a Azerine is. Just saying. What's that crazy island chief blabbing about? I get this weird feeling. He's not telling us the truth. But we're here for the pure metals. We'll just have to be careful. Let's go find the Yuk so we can get that pure metal link. We and Noki and the Yuk have been rivals for I don't know how long. I gotta be honest. I don't even know how it all started. So I guess that Azrine pure metal theme was ours once, but then we got into a big spat with the Yuk in the east and he got napped. That was like ages and ages ago. Grandpa used to rant all about it when we sat around the stew pot. Uh, pure metal Azrine? What are you ask, doing asking me about something important like that? Anuki Estates. Fofo's house. Yeah, my name's Fofo, you heard that right. I'm sure you know this, but the Yuk, they do nothing but lie. Gumo never lies. Just saying. Gumo never lies. I'm Hintobo. I hear things I know people. And I heard you're looking for the liar. I can give you a hint, but it's not gonna come cheap. Give me a hundred rupees. I didn't want to click OK. Don't worry uh, your head about guys who say that other guys don't lie. The guys who say that others are honest won't lie to you. Why you ask? Because then there would be two liars. Why again you ask? There's only one liar, so knowing that, look at the ones who accuse others of lying, and you'll find you're a liar. Ah, really, right? No? Yeah, I'm Kumu, and yeah, the yuk you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. 
Say neither Mazo or Aru is lying to you. Thought you'd want to know. Ma Mazo or Aru? Um, okay, Mazo or Aru. And this is Ofo. He's good. He's good. Give him a. I'm mean, gonna check mark. We'll give him a circle. I'll just. You know, I'll just do that. Just <laughs> erase the house. Dobo's house. Call me Dobo. You're looking for the Yuk who's impersonating one of us, right? It's one easy way to tell, you know, the Yuk are liars. That Mozo's honest. Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. Just had to get that off my chest. Okay, so Mazo's good. And this guy's probably good too. So either Azu's lying or, or Kumu is. Gumo. Here's Gumo. He never lies. Name's Gumo. Either Fofo or Aru has got to be lying to you. Just wanted to tell you that. Aru's house. He's the most sus right now. Mazo's house. Call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me, but me and Dobo only tell the truth. So I'd say that. My name's Aru. Between you and me, Kumo is lying. And I'll leave it at that. Hook are liars. One of them has got to be lying to you. Ask, ask, and then ask some more. Hit them with the tough questions. Once you find the imposter, expose the yuk for what he is. So the funny look in your eye? It's making me nervous. You don't think I'm the yuk, do you? Are you saying I'm the prime suspect? Get back, I said. Stay back. I'm innocent. If you come at me, I swear I'll have to protect myself. Don't come any closer. Think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. The do is say you made a mistake. Book him. Hey, how'd you figure it out? I thought I had an amazing costume. You're a yuk? You look so innocent. You look just like Aru. Don't do anything stupid and try to fight. Turn yourself in. Be quiet. You yell anymore with that squeaky voice. Drives me wild. Eh, some kind of monster. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> no, I'm not tasty. I taste awful. Eee! I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like a delicious fruit. Whoa, yeah, of course not. Well, I could try and make a run for it, but I guess I might as well give in now that I've been caught. To show of good faith, I'll show you something good. Wait right here. Don't move. <laughs> uh, oof, uh. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it, Link? We went all, we went to all the trouble of finding you, and he blew us away. But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Well, let's go talk to the Iron Chief and tell him what happened. Hey, guy, I heard the story, Link. What? Already? You did it! You scared that yoke right out of the village. Now that people can rest easy and sip on their savory stew in peace. But uh, don't you feel a little mad about getting blown away like that? Don't you want to get revenge on those yuk? Well... Hmm, yeah, of course we want to get revenge. <laughs> yeah, of course, nobody can resist a little revenge. I'm gonna open up the cave to the great ice field to the east. The yuk are over there. Go get yourself all the revenge you can. That Azurine you're looking for should be in the Temple of Ice. People are crazy. Here's a whole pack of nasty yuk roaming around the great ice field. What? How are they nasty? Oh guy, you do not want to know. You guy, I got word from the island chief about you. You want to head through here or what? Well, I wasn't expecting that answer. I want to talk to the last guy. You guy, jump on up on top of that peg thing right there. It's fine. Why do you hate pegs? They do something to you? Go on, give it a try. You hate pegging? I'll stop. I'll stop. You guy, I got word. You want to go through... Do not erase the yuk weak. Yo, know, the yuk's weakness is really simple. The yuk breathe deeply, inhale, mouth, throw. Most of the message has been wiped off. It's impossible to read. Owned. Guys are very, very, very easy. Blue glorious home to the pure metal stands ahead. Come to the path of six gardens of the great ice field must be defeated. You have to kill one more, I guess. Hooray! 
Well, it did not take long to get to this temple, I'll tell you that. <gasps> oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was so easy, what? Alright, well, Temple of Ice, here we go. This must be the Temple of Ice. There's a blizzard howling outside, but it's actually pretty warm inside. At least we'll get out of the cold in here, eh, Link? Oh, come on with the freaking electric blue choo-choo. Oh my. wonder if this is possible to do without bomb chews. Since I feel like you could get here without them. Oh, I guess you just place a bomb, huh? And then you place, throw a bomb and then you book it. Well, I sure <laughs> messed up. Whatever, I'm just gonna use a bomb chew since I have them available. Here we go with this dungeon theme again. <laughs> That's gotta the music in this game's gotta be my least favorite part of it. Like the lack of variety that is. Come on. <laughs> like damn, this song is like boring and repetitive. What is this thing? Oh my god. Pull the four levers to open your way. Draw a line due north. Pull the lever in that location last. Did I pull this one last? But, um... About the other three, I don't know which one's to pull. Die. <laughs> Maybe I gotta go around and kill these guys, I don't know. Oh, I think I can jump across these gaps over here. Okay. Pull the four levers. First, pull the lever on the far left. Okay. Go away. Man, how the hell? How did that not hit his back? Fuck this guy, whatever. <laughs> pull the four levers. Pull the one in front of the tongue second. The one in front of the tongue. Fuck's the tongue. Well, that one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Easy peasy. No, not the, not, not you. Oh, hell no. Uh, uh <laughs> not slippery ice, man. Worst part of like any of these games, slipping on ice. Thank you, game. I didn't see that there. Really? Okay, bro. What was that throw, Link? That's gotta hit it. Surely. Fucking hell. Make the bomb explosion a little bit bigger, dude. Sorry. How do I hit all of these? Oh, <laughs> the ice. The ice? I'm gonna go crazy with that ice. Stay on blue tile and follow the numbers below. Two, one, three, four. Hooray! Oh my god, the ice. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it in this place. I swear to god. Ouch. 
Really, bro? Really, bro? Can you stop hitting me? Use your suck, you prick. My god. Grappling hook. Whoa. It's pretty cool. It's basically just the hook shot, but but different. <laughs> Stop it! All the fucking green pieces of shit, man. Awooga! <laughs> Hi! Uh, okay. Okay, I get it. I like the grappling hook, that's neat. Alright, alright. Pretty simple. Hooray! Big red rupee! Woo, Nelly! And you stand before the great and ominous tightrope challenge. Do you fully comprehend what that means? I visit a tightrope walk. No one knows what will happen when you're in the middle of it. Hold on, hold on. What happens if I shoot that? Can't even hit the other one. What the hell? Uh huh. Very interesting. Wisdom gem. I have five. Not quite as many as you'd like to see. I never know what to chat about while I'm doing these dungeons. I would make a terrible streamer, I'll tell you that much. Treasure chests on this floor. Need to hit these damn switches. I hit them all from here. Amazing. Look how fast they go away. Unless I can hit them all with the boomerang while I'm standing on this tire. Oh, I can't. Or, or can I? <laughs> a 
Oh, this dungeon theme. Oh, this dungeon theme. What I would, wouldn't do to have a, another one. Just one more, even. Just one more for these last dungeons. Really? Big time. <laughs> We made it. We made it. Thank god. Holy crap, this floor is big! <laughs> These guys suck. Why even have them here? This green slime is more powerful, I swear to god. I can't even attack! Oh my god, do a quick spin for fuck's sake. Not what I wanted. I wanted to kill the, 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 the bat. Pot. Boy, it's easy to leap farther than you ever thought possible. All you must do is use rope in new and creative ways. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. My last video is already out of date. This might be a better dungeon than Goron Temple. <laughs> well, I don't like the ice, so maybe not. I do like the grappling hook, though. It's really, real good. I mean, I do love Bomb Chew as well, but this grappling hook's pretty crazy. Not you. Finally, I can kill you without the bomb. Maybe I use it to leap up here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, grappling looks better than the bob tree, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. Grappling looks definitely better in this game than it was in Wind Waker 2. Sorry to say. It's just pre- it's just pretty dang satisfying. I do love the bomb shoes though. Don't get me wrong here. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. It's brilliant. <laughs> Unlike me. <laughs> Unlike me. Ah! Can you not, bro? No! Die. Sometimes I hate the mouse because it's hard to quick spin. <laughs> Not the game's fault though. I don't know why you had to show me that game. I think I could have figured that one out. do I do with it? Oh, I need to jump on it. What? 
what? Oh, here we go. Okay, I see. Interesting, very interesting. I do love, I do love the grappling hook. I forgot the grappling hook was even in this game, but... <laughs> but boy, I sure do love it. Oh, fuck's sake. Mac little rat. And there's the boss key. Well, this dungeon didn't do anything interesting with the boss key either. Just kind of just slowly carry it up some stairs and then, oh, look, we're here. Wow, what a, what a, what a... What a puzzling puzzle that was. I think there's only like one dungeon left in this game besides, you know, finishing the Ocean King Temple and then fighting Bellum. So I hope it does something interesting with the boss key. Good lord. I think this boss is gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be, um... I need to make the screen vertical. Here we go! This was a very good dungeon. Let me just let me just say that before we fight the boss. This was a very good dungeon. I think I think I might want to say it's better than Goron Temple. I don't know though. I mean the dungeons in this game are like the best in the series, that's for sure, but they are pretty dang fun, I have to say. Especially the last two have been fun. Ghost ship not so much, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh my god! Gliok, two-headed dragon. How? Oh, how about this, buddy? Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! How do you like that? Whoa! Ouch! Oh yeah. A little laggy sometimes. Um, whoa. Ow, bro. Drink this real quick. Tongue. Check this. Oh, I dizzied myself. Ah! <laughs> this is a nice boss fight, I suppose. 
not the craziest in the world or anything. Why do I get hit up there? It's not cool. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, get on. Ow. Take that! Now become my sand. We did it. Got more sand for the hourglass. Two more minutes. Heart container. Got our second row. Alright, well that was a nice boss, I suppose. Yeah, it was a fun boss. Maybe the best boss so far, I don't know. Temple of Ice was pretty dang good, I I really liked it. At the pure mail you're looking for, you didn't link. Things got pretty wild and wooly on this island, but it was all worth it. And the psychos on the island who wanted me to come in here and kill everyone will be so happy. Oh, hello. Looks like you got your hands on that Azurine. Nice going, guy. You guy, I'm Aru. No, seriously, the real deal. So here's the story. Where I was sipping my stew, and all of a sudden a crazy yuk bagged me. Maybe it was when you exposed the yuk who was pretending to be me, but that barrier thing that was keeping me locked up dropped and I escaped. So uh, thanks for that. Yep. I mean, the yuk are crazy. And how are they back? Can I talk to them now? Ooh, my head hurts. It's like my brain was being controlled by some evil force. Now that I'm back to normal, I feel pretty guilty. This is sort of awkward, but uh, sorry if I tried to eat you. Oh, they're nice guys. We love the cults. One of the few advantages of being this hairy. They're awesome. Such a treasure. Hooray. Hooray. Uh, hoorah. Power jam. Ugh, trying to swallow you whole like that was really uncalled for. I ate so many bombs. My stomach. Ugh. So you know about Har Harrow Island, right? You do? Wow, really? And I thought I had something new to tell you. No, I don't actually tell. It's a small island west of here. Whoa, where did that fact even come from? I didn't even know I knew that. No, I knew that. Well, I'm smarter than I thought. What does the chief have to say? Oh, Link, did that Azarine work for you? Yep. That's all you have to say, huh? Well, peace, peace out, I guess. Well, that was this episode. We're rapidly approaching the end of the game. I suppose we'll have to head back to the Temple of the Ocean King and then go down to that other passage that was uh that was available and then and then yeah i guess we'll just we'll, we'll do that next time and then we'll get the last sea chart map and then we'll do the last dungeon of the game get the phantom sword and then we'll go beat bellum but that'll be next time hope to see you then 
I got plenty of stuff planned that's not just, you know, this, not just AI, not just Pokemon, which I still, uh, which I haven't recorded in a while. But don't worry, Pokemon will return if you were worried about that. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I can get a new mic someday. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.